was here. I came outside and I saw my grandmother leaning and blood coming from her head. What's up, Jabal here, and today we have a new video, and for this one, we're talking about a 85-year-old grandmother who was enjoying her evening outside her home and was shot dead. On September 9th, 2022, around 6.30 p.m., Miami-Dade police received a shot spotter alert. This type of technology is a gunshot detection system. It makes it safer and quicker for the authorities to be contacted of a shooting. When police arrived at the scene, they found an 85-year-old woman leaning with a gunshot wound to the head, and several shell casings were found. Paramedics on scene rushed the woman to the Jackson Memorial Hospital, where she later died from her injuries. She was identified as 85-year-old Elizabeth Level, who was also known as Ms. Liz. She was loved by many in Liberty City, a neighborhood in Miami, Florida. According to family, the shooter was in a car on Northwest 10th and 52nd Street, just east of her home, and opened fire as people were outside. The woman was the only visible target others nearby were standing or seated behind a hedge and couldn't initially be seen from the street corner. The bullet was intended for someone else and not the 85-year-old woman. She couldn't run from the gunfire. Family says she was in her wheelchair, but reports say it was a chair and she used a walker. Family members staying at the woman's home are alleged members of a gang. It's unclear which one at this time, as the investigation is currently ongoing and more information will come out soon. In a video captured by the mobile surveillance trailer, two men can be seen running by the 85-year-old woman's body and a bullet can be seen hitting a vehicle and a man firing back. According to family, the 85-year-old woman insisted that the video system be set up outside her home she had lived in for some 50 years, since 1971. The reason for that request was previous shootings in the area. Looking at the area on Google Maps, you can see the camera system in sight across from the home. In the month of September, when the shooting happened, the family was heartbroken and wanting justice for the 85-year-old grandmother. As you can imagine, her family is heartbroken. Sitting out as a family and people come through shooting. My grandma couldn't run. She's in her wheelchair. I haven't slept in three days since my grandma died. I haven't ate nothing. I've been here every day. I didn't even go home. We saw the bullet holes in the windows, railing, and door of this home on Northwest 52nd Street in Miami. This family simply wants closure, and they want the person responsible brought to justice. I just want justice for my grandma. I want people who may know something in the community to speak out and help us. You know, my grandma was tragically murdered. I don't know what's the motive behind it. I don't know who done it. On October 7th, 2022, a month after the death of Elizabeth, a arrest was made, and now the family can have a bit of relief. 24-year-old James Calvin Velasquez, an alleged member of a rival gang, was arrested and charged with one count of first-degree murder in relation to the murder of Elizabeth Level, with the bond set at zero. He is also charged with possession of oxycodone, bond set at 1,000. He is currently held in Broward County Jail. At this time, police say this is the first arrest of several that are coming, but now the family have a bit of relief that someone is behind bars. This morning when I woke up, I woke up to a text message saying that they had, you know, made an arrest in my aunt's murder. Level's niece, Reese Level, opening up to NBC6 about the arrest. Well, I'm just praying to God that he gets time. You know, she was an 85 year old lady just sitting out there minding her own business. According to the state attorney's office, family members who live at the victim's home are alleged gang members. They believe the suspect is a member of a rival gang and that Level was not the intended target. I see that they put that as gang related and that she had a gang member living in her house. First of all, everyone that lives there, that was, that lives there is her kinfolk, so her grandkids. A great grandkid. State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle saying in part, our elderly residents should never have to fear anything while sitting peacefully on their own front porch. Echoing those feelings, Miami Police Chief Manny Morales saying, the men and women of the Miami Police Department will ensure that all those involved in this heinous crime are brought to justice. Reese, grateful for the work of investigators to make justice possible. I just want to thank them for that. All those ones that was involved need to be off the street. 
Man, this is sad. A woman lost her life minding her business. She was outside drinking a beer, had her walk in her hand, having a conversation with a neighbor, enjoying the evening, and someone opened fire, hitting her as others took cover. And by looking at all this information out right now, it's clear that the shooter fired without even aiming at the intended target, just started shooting like a fool. And looking at the surveillance video, a shootout happened between the group as they said that James is allegedly part of a rival gang. So. It is very sad that all this happened and she was caught in the crossfire. And that is it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this entire situation. But yeah, I'm out.